Well, now our newsmaker on the show today, a Chinese virologist, Dr. Li Meng Yan, who investigated the origin of the COVID virus during the initial outbreak in Wuhan and then startled the world with her claims that COVID virus was laboratory made. Uh, she claimed that she was muzzled by her supervisors from speaking out. And Li Meng Yan, who claims to be a former researcher at the Hong Kong School of Public Health, also says the virus was built uh, by merging the genetic material of two bat coronaviruses. Yan then fled to the U.S. in April following her a bombshell claim. In fact, her Twitter account has also been taken down in mid-September after she accused China of intentionally manufacturing and releasing a COVID-19. She's just come out now with a second paper on coronavirus, which has again not been peer-reviewed. In fact, both her papers have been dismissed by scientists. Reports, however, have also emerged that her mother has been arrested in China and mainland China. Her family still remains there. And I did speak with her earlier earlier about her research and all these claims that she's making. Uh, Dr. Lan, thank you so, Dr. Yan, thank you so much for speaking to NDTV. Now, you've made some very, very astounding claims about coronavirus. We're to understand that you were actually studying the virus in the University of Hong Kong. So just tell us about how it happened, how you first came across this virus and your findings. Uh, so the first beginning, it was end of December. 31 December last year, I was secretly assigned by my supervisor, WHO Emerging Disease Consultant Professor Liu Peng in the University of Hong Kong to conduct this investigation about the unknown pneumonia happened in Wuhan. Because the WHO and also Hong Kong government lack of information from China to understand what happened. And we are the top WHO reference lab in this field. So I contact my uh, so, uh, social network and because I got my MD and PhD from two top medical university in China. So I have very extensive this kind of network, basically from hospital to CDC authorities and also to the lab, including the military ones. So what I get information from end of December until mid January include that the China government was covering up the truth of the COVID-19. And also WHO, also I keep report to them and they still keep silence because they know China government don't want them to tell the truth. So they collaborate with China government. And also from the end of December, human to human transmission already exists. More patients than the government claimed. And also seafood market is just smoke screen. So sequence is already uh, uh, obtained by Chinese Communist Party in December. So based on all these things, I mean, my supervisor has warned me before and after the investigation that don't cross the red line, you should be careful. If not, you will be despaired. So finally, until uh, mid January, 17th January, when I say there's still no response, and I say the time is urgent, situation is very uh, critical at that time. So I decided to release the information by myself. And then I turned to contact Mr. Luder, who's a YouTuber based in US, and uh, revealed the truth to anti-Chinese Communist Party. I anonymous delivered this message through him on 19th January, which did a series of the policy change from China government just within hours. But Dr. Yan, many scientists and researchers have actually slammed your claims, uh, you know, dismissed your paper as unsubstantiated. They have said it cannot be given any credibility. Can you really back up these claims that you have made? Okay, first, what I want to tell you is this report full of the scientific evidence and they were read by the relevant people in U.S. government, including the top experts, before I publish it. And they are totally convinced and gave the po very positive support to me. The second thing is I see a lot of mainstream media, including Daily Beast, including the National Geographic and New York Times, they write the papers using almost the same uh, words to discrim uh, discredit my paper. And they invite those experts who cannot point out any evidence I use is wrong I mean, according to the fact, they will use some word like nonsense, uh, like some uh, even worse word. And also, they cut paste a part of my word 
and change the concept. Basically, they use their title as scientists to twist people's understanding about the world in my paper. That's why I put the paper online in the open access. If people go to find and check, verify, they will understand who is telling the fact and who is changing the fact by but misleading people. So for this, some expert, uh, I will give the respond later. But now I'm busy with the very uh, important next scientific work, the report. So I will release the next scientific report very soon. After that, I will also publish the reply to some of these experts. And also I will tell people how many ties between them to Chinese Communist Party. That's why they are the one jumping out to use this kind of lies and misinformation to uh, mislead people. Right. Now, Dr. Yan, you published your papers yourself. Uh, they, they haven't been peer-reviewed by any sort of scientist, uh, but there have been papers, however, published in magazines like Nature magazine that have claimed the virus was natural and couldn't have been lab-made. So basically, what I can summarize to you, because many other evidence I will pro, uh, present in the next scientific report, people can go to read it. Uh, but what I can tell you now is, there are always two possibilities for a novel virus coming out. Either come from nature or come from the lab. Like, uh, so this, this time, people, those scientific people, uh, and the Chinese Communist Party, WHO, those top journals, they try to push people to just think about the nature origin, but they censor all the world about the lab origins from the beginning. So basically, they use a lot of lies, which is hilarious when you see my next report, you will understand it. And those people, they get gathering because of the benefit or maybe their fear of Chinese Communist Party, they work together and which is also organized by Chinese Communist Party to show you this is definitely come from nature. Like the bad woman Xi Jinping provides a bad virus RATG13, which is fabricated. And like the pangolin virus, which is also fabricated. All these lies, but they use their title, use their position to make the public believe that, yeah, it sounds right. Yeah, they are the top people, their word, I'm convinced by that. And mislead people to believe that come from nature, which leads to the far uh, beyond the truth, that kind of downstream investigation about the SARS-CoV-2. Because if you don't know the real origin of the virus, you cannot understand it. So whether they have recruited more functional part into the lab process when they process this, uh, produce this virus, and what else we didn't reveal already hide inside because we know first for the Joshan bat coronavirus, we don't know that much. And when they change the character, we also don't know what has been changed, something we even still don't understand. Based on this, we can develop the efficient vaccine or drugs in the future. Right. Now, Dr. Yan, you've also been accused by many of being a politically motivated in these claims that you're making. And you're actually saying that China is uh, influencing papers. Are you saying that China can actually influence the scientific community across the world? I think there are a lot of facts already people can see. Like from the beginning, the WHO worked with Chinese Communist Party obedient to them and just deliver the message Chinese Communist Party want the people to know. Like human to human transmission is denied, uh, like mask doesn't work and hydroxychloroquine doesn't work and even harmful. Also they said this won't be an outbreak, right? We see how many lives they work together to tell people. And also back to the scientific world, it's also the same, which also make me shocked. But you know, I've been working with the top coronavirus vi uh, expert, like Malik Paris and also Liu Peng. So those are the ones in the core team to support the WHO consultant team in COVID-19 and other emerging disease uh, topic. So I know clearly how they work together. That's why the Chinese Communist Party and the scientific people who work together try to make me silenced by dismiss me 
or suspend my Twitter, suspend my word, censor all the things in the world. If I keep silent, there may be very difficult to find another one who knows the whole COVID-19 things from inside, from the beginning in the world. All right. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us. So that was uh, Dr. Uh, Lee Meng Yan, who's made uh, many uh, uh, claims, uh, as we said, that have been dismissed by the scientific community, but quite a bombshell initially when those claims uh, came out. But again, I have to emphasize here, they have been dismissed. Her papers have been dismissed by the scientific community.